viewers welcome to RJS Botany today's topic is about ecological adaptation as we know this is a process where an organism survive and reproduce in its habitat according to ecological adaptation plants are classified into three categories like hydrophyte chirophyte and mesophyte hydrophytes are the plant which grows in aquatic medium and gerophytes are the plant which grow in dry habitat mesophyte the plants growing in moderate medium and some other uh, ecology, other plants like jamophytes the plant which grows on sandy habitat lithophyte the plant which grows on rocky habitat next is halophyte plants growing on saline water medium so these are all the types of plant classified according to ecological adaptation we will start with the topic that is hydrophyte plants those grows in watery or aquatic medium are called as hydrophyte and hydrophytes are again categorized into three categories that is first one is submerged plant submerged means underwater that means the whole plant body remain inside the water for example like hydrilla and floating plants means here the plant body floats on the water surface total body floats on the water surface for example like trapa so these are all hydrophyte and third one is amphibious plant here the plant grow in muddy soil here the lower plant is submerged in water and the upper part is aerial that means amphibious amphi word is used in both cases that means the lower plant is submerged as well as in aerial portion that means the upper part is above the water and the lower part is inside the water that is submerged in water for example like sagittaria typha so these are the examples of amphibious plants coming to the topic here the hydrophyte show following adaptation like morphological ad adaptation their morphological their external structure anatomical adaptation that is their internal structure and other physical processes like physiological adaptation morphological adaptation first is root the root system is poorly developed there is no well developed root system in hydrophyte and the floating branches develop adventitious root from their nodes which are soft and spongy as they are aquatic plant so the roots of hydrophytes are soft and spongy and some root become spongy why to store air next part is stem the stem of hydrophytes are long cylindrical soft and spongy to stay air, to store air next is leaf leaf are narrow in submerged hydrophyte and broad leaves are present in floating hydrophytes for example like hydrilla as it is a submerged hydrophytes the leaves are very narrow but in broaded hydrophytes like water hyacinth the leaves are broad and it is a floating hydrophytes as it floats on water surface and the presence of solen petiole is present to store air for floating so as it is soft and spongy and it store air and so it helps in floating for example like water hyacinth and its scientific name is echinia next is anatomical adaptation means anatomy means internal structure first is epidermis epi means above dermis means layer epidermis is a single layer and parenchymatous tissues are present an epidermal wall helps in absorption of gases and nutrients from surrounding water that means the absorption of gases and nutrient takes place through the epidermal wall which is the outermost layer next one is cuticle is absent if present it is thin cuticle 
is present in leaf in the outer portion of leaf which is generally absent and if rarely present it is thin next is stomata in submerged leaf the stomata are absent in floating hydrophytes like trapa leaves are epistomatic what is epistomatic that means stomata is present on upper surface of leaf and the lower surface only touching the water surface next third point is air chamber the stem contain air chamber to store air for respiration so air chambers are present in stem for storage of air and it helps in respiration photosynthesis and also buoyancy buoyancy means a upward force is emerged in the body and in some cases petiole as well as the root contain air chamber for floating so as hydrophytic plant contain air inside it so it helps in floating and also the parts become soft and spongy next part is vascular tissue vascular tissue like xylem and phloem it is poorly developed that means flow xylem is reduced and phloem is well developed as it is a aquatic plant there is no need of transportation of water to from root to stem or root to leaf so xylem is reduced and phloem is well developed poor transportation takes place other tissues like colenchyma and sclerenchyma are reduced in stem part coming to the next heading that is physiological adaptation as a absorption of water and mineral takes place through body surface that means waters and minerals are absorbed are absorbed through the body surface and the internal air chamber which store carbon dioxide and oxygen helps in photosynthesis and respiration and they perform a maximum photosynthesis even in low intensity of light so this is all about the ecological adaptation of hydrophytes where plants grow in aquatic or watery medium and the most common example of submerged hydrophyte is hydrilla thank you i hope you like this video thank you